Welcome to ClinLearn's e-learning series on clinical study protocol. In this video, we will look at, who are the key stakeholders, for the clinical study protocol. Let's assume, you own, a pharmaceutical company. Now imagine, you have a new potential drug, called Magic Pill. Magic Pill has gone through, all preclinical stages, including, animal testing. Now, we are ready, for the clinical development stage. Meaning, it is ready to be tested in human subjects. Before you can start giving, your drug to humans, there is a lot of documentation, to be submitted to health authorities. These documents are required, to take approval from health authorities, for conducting the clinical trials. One of the documents, you will have to develop is, clinical study protocol. We will have a series of videos on clinical study protocol. In this video, we will discuss, who are, the stakeholders for this document. As you can imagine, there are multiple stakeholders for preparation and usage of a protocol. These include, clinical scientists, clinical operations personnel, statisticians, study investigators, and site personnel, quality departments, ethics committees, and documentation and archival teams. Before we go ahead, let's quickly recap, the content of a clinical study protocol. Its GCP protocol definition. As discussed, the content of a protocol, is based on ICHGCP, E6. The content includes, describing, the clinical trial objectives, design, methodology, statistics, and organization of the study. The stakeholders for the clinical study protocol, therefore reflect the content of this document. Clinical scientists, are involved in, conception of the study. That is, why should a clinical trial be conducted? Which questions should the study answer? Such as does magic pill work? Is it safe? The clinician is also involved in study design. The design includes elements, such as, what treatment should be studied? How many study groups should be included? What should be the patient population? Is blinding used in the study? If yes who should be blinded? What are the controls? What are the study periods? The clinician is involved in deciding on, what should the efficacy endpoints be? Meaning, how do I know my drug works? For example, if our magic pill is being developed for headache, our efficacy endpoint, would be, is the number of headaches, lower, in the subjects taking magic pill, compared to a placebo. In addition to efficacy, clinician is involved, in defining the safety endpoints for the study. For our magic pill, to be called safe, the number of safety events should be lower or similar to the placebo. A statistician is a key stakeholder in protocol development. A statistician, is also involved, in determining the design elements, as discussed in the, previous slide. In addition to the design, the statistician is involved in defining the endpoints. What do we mean by this? If we would like to test, does our magic pill help decrease headache, then our endpoints could be, what are the number of episodes of headache? Or what is the duration of headaches? The statistician also defines, what statistical methods should be used, for assessing the results. Should a descriptive statistics be used? Or should there be a statistical test? These methods are used to answer the question, does magic pill work? The clinical operations personnel are involved with the practical aspects of a clinical trial. Based on the study design, efficacy, and safety endpoints for a clinical trial, the clinical operations personnel define, what are the trial milestones? When will the subjects be enrolled? When should the study treatments be administered? When and how should the efficacy be asked? They are basically involved in the execution phase of the clinical trial. The study investigators and study site personnel, define medical aspects of the study. These include, what tests should be performed? How should the tests be performed? 
the investigator, also ensures that, the study is conducted ethically, informed consent procedures are defined clearly and transparently. The investigators also ensure that the study is monitored adequately, and is in compliance in the relevant regulations. So, to summarize, the key stakeholders in the development of a clinical study protocol are Clinical scientists, statisticians, clinical operations personnel, study investigators, and site personnel. In addition to these, the other stakeholders such as quality department, ethics committee, documentation, and archival teams also are involved in development of the protocol. They ensure the protocol is compliant with all the ethical and regulatory requirements. In essence, the clinical study protocol development is a team effort. For a high-quality protocol and a successful study, it is essential that all stakeholders perform their roles adequately. Hope you find this video useful. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube for more such resources.